My fear is, uh, as we're seeing in other provinces such as Quebec, that we may experience sudden increases in hospitalization. Um, that's kind of our first clue. Quebec is in a new COVID-19 wave and experts say Ontario is on their way to one. So where does that leave Manitoba? It's not very often where we avoid uh, the experience. It might not be to the same extent, um, but it would be unlikely given how interconnected we are, how much we travel, intermingle, um, that we will not also see um, you know, an impact of this uh, even more infectious uh, BA.2 uh, version of Omicron. Epidemiologist Cynthia Carr says BA.2 is quickly becoming the dominant strain around the world and it's been found in national wastewater data for Winnipeg as well. The province is continuing limited testing and now only releases case count updates once a week. I don't think we need to have a daily release of data for us to know what to do. What I do think we need is better communication about why those decisions were made so that people don't, um, you know, create distrust or, you um, feel that, you know, it's not important anymore. It's very important. I think weekly or whatever is fine. Um, I think it just makes life easier, not focusing on straight COVID anymore, just and, giving everybody a break. And numbers as much either. Like, there's always big numbers coming at you all the time, and sometimes people don't know what to do with that information. We asked Manitobans how they feel about the province removing daily COVID-19 updates. It should keep people updated on a regular basis, like even on a daily basis. Once a week, it just doesn't give you enough information of what's really going on. I want to feel like this is going away and that we're over the worst of it. So it's almost like if it's every day, it's like, oh, the number might have went up a little bit today or down. So I think once a week is... It's good. Despite mixed opinion on updates from the province, there was a consensus that Manitoba will see the wave provinces to the east are experiencing. There's wave definitely coming. another wave for uh, sure. I feel like they did let down restrictions a little sooner because um, we've already gone through this once, so it's going to come back again. It's just a matter of time. I do. Yeah, I think It's so. a scary thing, but it's going to happen. Yeah. I work in healthcare, and I definitely think that there's another wave coming. We already have like four people just where I work with COVID like residents. I hope that we don't get another wave, but also, I don't know, it's hard to say. I think it's probably inevitable. We kind of follow suit with the rest of the provinces. So yeah. The province will be releasing updated COVID-19 data on Thursday. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.